Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Shubham Pramanik from motionrex.com. In today's video, we are going to make this product promo animation inside of After Effects from the scratch. So at first, I'm going to show you how to make this design inside of After Effects. And after that, I'm going to show you how to animate this cool looking intro. And after that, animate all of these elements as well. So please be with me. You are going to enjoy this one and hit the like button at the very first. And now let's get started. Let's change the font to impact and after that I'm gonna position this text in the center. I'm gonna press R and I'll type in minus 90. Okay. And now you just need to increase the size of it. Also you need to make sure that the anchor point of this text layer is in the center. I'll go to the pan behind tool. I'll select that and I'll press control and double click. So what it will do, it will position the anchor point in the center of the text. Okay. I'm gonna create the background. Now I'll press control Y and position it in the background add ramp radiant ramp on top of that and now select the start color so i'm gonna select the color like this also make sure that the linear ramp is set to radial ramp and now just drag this point over here and drag this point as well so i'm gonna position that over here perfect i'll name it as bg and also add ramp scatter to 20% after that i'll go to the text layer and i'll add a tracking and let's increase the tracking amount uh, let's say around uh, 5 10 range selector and i'm gonna set a keyframe on the start position and i'll go around 20 frames and set a keyframe 200 also around 10 frames i'm gonna set a keyframe on the end position as well and i'll go around one second and i'll make this one zero now at this position i'm gonna set a keyframe on the offset as well and i'll go to around two seconds and i'm gonna make this 100 after that i'm gonna select these keyframes and i'm gonna make this one 85 and it will easy ease okay so it will look like this perfect now i'm gonna select these two keyframe as well and i'm gonna easy ease now let's see pretty cool now after that go to your assets folder and just drag and drop the main bottle image that we have and position it on the top now just scale it down a little bit like this around two seconds i'm gonna just drag this text like this now after that i'm gonna add a drop shadow on the bottle image let's make this one 45 and press w to rotate it like this now press v and position it over here you can scale it down a little bit like this now i'm gonna duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d and i'm gonna drag that press w to rotate it like this and now right click go to transform property and now flip horizontal now rotate it press v and position it over here I'm gonna place it like this and after that I'm gonna copy the drop shadow Control C and I'm gonna paste it over here now we need to increase the distance a little bit and need to change the angle of it as well and I'm gonna add the drop shadow over here now press W and rotate it like you want and place it over here I'm gonna press S to scale it down make it smaller and place it over here now after that i'm gonna solo this text layer i'm gonna solo the main image as well what i'll do i'll just make it a 3d composition now i'm gonna press alt shift p to set a keyframe on the position and now i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna make this z value minus 3000 now if you ramp preview here you can see how it is looking so it will look like this now just select these two keyframes press f9 to easy ease now go to graph editor and make sure that you are on the speed graph now just select these two layers drag this handle like this so initially the speed will be slow it will increase the speed and settle down like this so that it mimics the gravity right and after that just turn on the motion blur okay also here you can see that there is an icon you can turn off the motion blur for the entire composition from this icon and if you switch it on the entire composition will have the motion blur here you can see that how it is looking when i'm turning it off and how it is looking when i'm turning it on much much 
better right all right now close this graph editor and select your main bg layer now go to transform now set a keyframe on the scale property and drag that keyframe over here now just unlink that also select this layer so that we can see it now just change the value to something like this so that it fits the text layer properly okay so it will animate like this now we are going to use one of the very cool animation principle over here as well let me make some space okay now i'll go three frames forward so i'll press ctrl left arrow key like this and i'm gonna just copy this and i'm gonna paste it over here now i'm gonna go over this keyframe and now before uh the animation happens we need to add some anticipation as well so before it expands i'm gonna make it shrink little bit like this so this is an animation principle and it makes the animation more fluid i always talk about animation principles and applying them on your project and i hope you are practicing that now i'm gonna select all of these keyframes and i'm gonna just easy ease those as well now here you can see that animation perfect looking good right i'm gonna add another animation principle as well and that is follow through so when the bottle lands over here i want some animation in the text as well so what i'll do i'll just uh, select the text layer and i'm gonna press s shift s so that it opens up the scale property as well now i'm gonna set a keyframe over here and i'm gonna just drag that keyframe little bit backward now i'm gonna unlink that as well i'm gonna just change the scale value i'll increase it like this and i'll go 10 frames forward and now i'm gonna just copy this keyframe and paste it over here so when the bottle lands our text is gonna have some impact on that okay this kind of movement just makes your animation more professional and separates you from the rest of the others. Now at this position, I'm gonna add an impact on the bottle image as well. So I'm gonna press shift S and I'm gonna set a keyframe on the scale. Now I'm gonna drag this one and now change the scale value from 65 to 60 and go around over here and make this one 65 again okay so it will look now you can see that the impact is much much better right now select this keyframes and easy ease those as well now here you can see the impact notice the impact over here it is looking much better right and it is giving some sort of uh, movement in the overall composition as well so i'm always talking about this when i'm saying that apply animation principles in your project it separates your work from rest of the others that's it and now let's move forward when the scene is changing like this i want to add them at this position so i'm gonna just place it over here and this one as well now just make sure that the anchor point is set over here and you can press ctrl while dragging the anchor point it will automatically position your anchor point now i'm gonna just select these two layers i'm gonna press ctrl shift and s to set a keyframe on the scale i'll drag these two keyframe and now just make sure that it is zero perfect now select these two keyframes and easy ease those as well and i'm gonna select this layer i'm gonna press shift r to set a keyframe on the rotation and drag this keyframe over here and now change the value to plus um, five degree now go around two seconds 20 frames now just select this keyframe ctrl c and paste it over here so it will animate slowly like this now just ramp preview and let's see how it is looking so far all right so you can see that we have built this one very very shortly now just uh, select the grains and select all of them i want to place them over here press r and press alt and left click to add an expression that is wiggle i'm gonna put in 2 comma 20 now let's see it will animate like this now just select this one right click and copy expression only now select this one as well press ctrl v and the expression will be applied there 
just select all of the layers press u to close them up and just unsolo all of this and after that i'm gonna just add that wave animation that i have already rendered out and if you don't know how to make this kind of wave animation let me know i'll teach you that as well and i'm gonna add a hue saturation to match with our color codes and let make it around 210 and it will be matched with our composition here you can see pretty awesome right and at the end i'm gonna select the bg layer and i'm gonna add a noise effect on top of that and make this 120 now here you can see that after adding noise it is looking very very cool so i'm gonna add noise and just make this 140 so if i just show you the before and after notice this part okay if i switch off the noise it is looking very flat but if i turn on it is adding some sort of grain and styling and it makes the overall composition good now after that let's do a quick preview and let's see the final composition yep looking pretty awesome i hope you have learned something new from this video if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to the channel and comment down your suggestions for the next video with that said this is shubham pramanik signing off and i'll see you in the next one keep animating keep smiling goodbye